Alright, so today we are in the third episode of how to make an injection client with C++ and JNI and I am going to be showing you how to make uh, Velocity today. Uh, last episode we covered how to make an SDK uh, the right way uh, and now we are not going to leak as much memory. So that's great. So what we need to do now is just start making the module. So if you search for motion x, um, let's see if you can find it. Okay, there we go. Motion x, y, and z. Oh, well, okay, of course it's backwards, z, y, x. <laughs> All right, so let's just, uh, what type is it? Um, I'm not sure if it's a double or a float. All right, let's just let's just go with um, let's go with double. Let's just go with double. We can test it out. Mm, all right, so we've got to start doing this. So entity uh, static j double get motion x. Uh, and let's paste this in two times. Change it to Y and Z. And now we're gonna go void called set motion X and then let's change this and Y and Z. Alright, so now let's define the functions. So, um, uh, J double C entity entity. Uh, get motion x. So what we are going to do? The motion x is basically how, how like the motion speed, I'd say. So if we reduce it, then it's going to be slowing us down. So obviously, what I'm going to now is we can make it so if we get hit, then it's going to instantly stop the velocity. Right, but obviously we need to make a check if you get hit. But first, let's start with getting the motion. All right, so I believe it's a J double. So, yeah, yeah, I just checked this. All right, return. Actually, it's a field, so let's just make. We need a couple. We need a couple of fields, so. Um, J field ID motion x equals no. J field ID motion y equals no. And J field ID motion z equals no. Okay, so if motion x null. No, and then motion x equals ct.env get field id and then the get class and let's check the mapping so it was x f no, no no the x x for z so for e uh, motion x it is v oh uh, it's v okay and then the identifier is D, right? D for double. Um, so okay, so let me explain this. So the reason why we fields we do this, uh, we specify what type it is. So if it was I, it'd be int. Uh, if it was um, F, it'd be float. Okay, so now let's change it back to D for double. Okay, so uh, return. Oh. Okay, returns. Uh, get double field and the object so uh, get instance and then the field id so motion x okay let's just copy paste this three times and change everything z Okay, we need to change the map in now. So W for Y, and 
x for z. Okay, so now let's just make a new module folder called velocity. Uh, it's a new item, velocity, and new header file called velocity. Okay, let's make a class, class velocity, public, um, static void run module, and now let's include ch. Before that, let's just go in cheat and include uh, the module. Modules, velocity, velocity for h. Alright, so now we're going to go velocity, run module. Uh, okay, so now we're going to define that function. So velocity, run module, yeah, void. Okay, and now we're just gonna do. Uh, okay, we're gonna go back to entity, and I'm gonna find a way to set it. So let's just void c uh, entity set motion x. So ct.env set double field. And we won't need to check if the field and like set it because of how we're going to make the velocity. We wouldn't set it before getting it. So that would not matter. Okay, so set double field. Um, yeah, the object, so get instance and the field ID. So uh, motion x and then the value so let's just make a uh, j double value and we're gonna have to add this to all of yeah there we go okay is that easy so let's just do that for uh, the y and z z now y oh <laughs> Take all the uh, function away. Okay, so now we can properly set it, and let's do a little. <laughs> let's let's have a little fun first. So velocity. Uh, no. Uh, okay. So uh, auto motion x equals. C entity. Oh wait, we need to include the entity first. Include net Minecraft entity entity L H C entity. Um, get motion x. Okay, well it's actually just, um J double Y Z. Y Z. Okay, now let's just times it all by zero point five, right? So this is gonna half it. So motion x uh, times equals zero zero point five, right? So this is gonna make it smaller. Y and Z, and then we're gonna set it. So C entity. Set motion x. Okay, and now just do that for y and z. Okay, now we have to restart our game because I was already injected. Okay, so it's gonna have some weird effects. Um, so just bear with me. <laughs> okay, so. Cheats test. So let's stack up a little bit first. And you're gonna see how we move slower. Okay, so if I inject. Okay. 
See, I'm not able to... I'm moving forward, but as you can see, it, it's, 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 it's weird movement. See, I'm, I'm pressing W right now and it's moving me to the side. Wait, motion Y, Z, X, Y. Oh, oh my gosh, I was saying, I wasn't setting the functions. I was only setting the X. Okay, so let's try that again this time. <laughs> Um, let's try that again this time, but I'm actually uh, setting it correctly. Okay. Bill, yeah, we did. Alright, so let's stack up. The Y is the one that's gonna look weird, but it's fine. So, you see, like, I'm basically lighting. Yeah. As you can see, it's it's really odd. Um, yeah, so I, I'm like, I'm, I'm moving, but it's really slow and the Y just isn't going to move at all. Right. So, um, <laughs> there's no way to get down. All right. So obviously now you can see that it reduces. Or not back, but the only way to actually do this effectively is if we get like um, if the player has been hit and then reduce it only then, right? And we're gonna do that with getting the re resistance ticks because basically, wait, let me just search up re resistant time. I um hurt. Wait, hurt. Okay, let's go to just, um, if you go into anti-class, there's going to be one that's going to be resistant hurt ticks or something like that. Let's just find that. Hurt resistance time. Alright, there we go. Alright, so hurt resistance time. So this is basically going to mean that we can check how long we've been hurt for. Right. And it's obviously an integer, and when you've been hurt, um, it's it's how long like you're immune to hits, right? So once you're hit, you have like some small amount of immune time. All right. So, um, uh, static int get hurt resistant time, uh, and let's just get it now. So void c entity get her resistance time oh wait it's um int all right so we we'll need to get the field first so j field hurt resistant time equals equals no okay so uh if hurt resistant time equals null and we set it and this the module is pretty easy to be honest it's just check if you've been hit and then you know just set off uh the velocity get field id uh get class okay and then it is the mapping is z capital z and then it is i for integer okay now we're gonna go ctlnv uh, return ctlnv get int field and then get instance and then the field ID resistance time so we're not gonna set the this anymore actually no yeah we are okay so if c entity get hurt resistant time uh is um there we go if that happens then we are going to do this all right so let's reinject yep everything's fine 
Um, and we're going to place down a zombie or something so it can hit us. Okay. Let's check that we built. Yep, we did. Let's inject the DLL. Place a zombie. So you see, we're moving fine. Look, we're not moving at all. Let's kill the zombie, right? So you can see we can jump fine, but as soon as he hits me, look. Right, so it's reducing the knockback. Obviously you can change the values and how it works, right? You might not want to send the mission Z or only the mission X, like, you can really do anything you want, really. So uh, this was a tutorial on how to make Velocity, a simple module, and also a deeper dive into Gen I. Uh, in the fourth um, episode, you should give me some suggestions on what you want me to make. Alright, thank you for watching, and as always, have fun.